There are countless ways that pastels can be used in a drawing. In this video, we're going to take a look at three of the most common application techniques. These include blending, scumbling, and feathering. Let's begin by taking a look at blending. Blending is where the pastels are applied and then transitions are smoothed out between values and colors. In this example, I'll be using my finger to do the blending, but a blending stump or a cotton swab is also acceptable. I'll begin by layering in the local color, in this case it'll be green, and then working it in with my finger. Next, I'll begin to establish some of the core shadow on the sphere by using a dark blue. Here again, I'll blend in the transitions with my finger. Next, I'll use a yellow to begin to establish some of the highlighted areas. Each application, I use my finger to smear and blend the transitions. I'll add a bit of white for a highlighted area and gently, again, blend that transition. Next, to make the core shadow a bit darker, I'll use a very dark gray over the top of what I've already laid down. I'll also add a bit of yellow-green to establish a reflected highlight. With the areas of value established on my sphere, I can use a medium gray to further define the edges of the sphere. I'll work that medium gray in with my finger to create a smooth surface. Over the top of the gray, I'll begin to add a blue for the beginnings of cast shadow behind the sphere. That's followed by a darker gray. This shadow is worked in, and then a bit of darker gray is layered on top. Again, this technique is called blending. The next technique is called scumbling. Scumbling occurs when opaque layers of pastel are lightly applied over the top of pre-existing layers of pastel. The result is optical color mixing. In this case, we'll begin with a circle that is filled in completely with the local color green. We'll layer blue on top, but no blending or smearing occurs. Instead, light applications of the color are layered on top. This allows some of the color underneath to show through. I'm using the same colors that I used in the blending example, except this time, again, no blending occurs. The form of the sphere is established by using green, followed by dark blue, yellow, white, and then dark gray. Again, we'll establish the edges of the sphere after the sphere is drawn using a medium gray. To stay consistent with the application of scumbling, we will not blend in the background here either. To create cast shadow, we'll layer the dark blue over the top of the gray and then again, this application is followed by dark gray. You may also go back and add a bit of a reflected highlight and make the highlight on the sphere a bit more intense with white. Again, this technique is called scumbling. The third technique we'll discuss here is called feathering. Feathering occurs when opaque layers of pastel are layered over the top of pre-existing applications of pastel, but they are done so with linear qualities in mind. This technique is very similar to hatching. In this example, I'm using hard pastels over the top of soft pastels. Because of a higher binder to pigment ratio, hard pastels are able to come to a finer tip and keep that tip for a longer period of time. They are also less powdery than soft pastels. To create the feathering effect, I am simply creating lines instead of solid areas of color or value. In this case, I'm using the same colors as I used in the previous two examples, with the exception of a dark brown instead of a dark gray in the shadowed area. Each layer that I put on increases the depth of color and makes the sphere feel more like a form. I'm not tied to the diagonal lines, however, and I can go back and add a reflected highlight following the contours of the sphere. I can also define the edges of the sphere like I have in the previous two examples using a medium gray. In this case, I will blend in the background. With the background defined, I can go back and add a bit of cast shadow using a blue first 
followed by a dark brown. Again, this technique is referred to as feathering. And there's a quick look at three popular techniques for applying pastel to a surface.